What's happening, everybody? Rajay back to take a look at another beer. Going to take a look at one from right here in Cincinnati. This comes from Rivertown Brewery and Barrel House. This is actually their death. So pretty cool looking label as you see there. And if the bottle looks pretty big, it actually is. This one comes in at one pint and 9.4 ounces. So 25.4 ounce total. Bigger than your 22s out there. But what is death? Let me tell you. A harmony of heaven and hell. This robust Russian imperial stout is brewed with a grim dose of Behut Jalakia chilies, also known as the ghost pepper. Death offers up a warm, high-gravity chocolate malt, roasty, rich embrace, only to displace the mirth with a virulent, balanced kick of beet on the back palate. This beer celebrates the conundrum of the soul and maybe the only time where through death, life is found. So, that's how they kind of describe this one. You can see here, Russian Imperial Stout with the, I guess it's Jalokia peppers, or Jalokia peppers, however they pronounce that. Ghost pepper, just know that's in it. And that should give it a little bit of a kick. Um, be interested to see how this one goes at 11.7% ABV, almost 26 ounces. Not sure if this is the right thing to drink late at night, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot anyway. Go ahead and get it open and let's get it into a glass. Now on the glass, the preferred glass is actually a snifter, so that's what I'm going to use here. Alright. So we go ahead, I got it into the glass here. Color itself, not fully jet black, but a very deep dark brown color. The head is a beige tan head. Um, not much rockiness to it, more of a creamier type head. Really favors something like a barley wine. As far as the carbonation, not sure if you can see that on there, but you can make out some of the bubble action taking place. Carbonation does look to be pretty lively. Can't see into it, obviously, because of the dark color, but we noticed some good things happening. The head itself is already dissipating. Came out less than a finger. It's already starting to break up there, as you can see. So go ahead and get an aroma. On the aroma, get that kick from the peppers. Can definitely tell they're in this. Um, I do get some of that roasted from the malt as well on the back end. Almost sniffing it, you start to get that flavor into your throat. That's how strong uh, some of the peppers seem to be. You get a little bit of that chocolate you would expect to have on a stout. But really up front, it's really the peppers that are really the star of the show that kind of run everything. So malt on the back end of that. Not getting too much of the hops, but um, the peppers alone. And I'm a big pepper fan, so I'm pretty excited to go ahead and get a taste. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So on the taste, you definitely have the peppers. I can feel the peppers in the back of my throat right now. Not really off-putting where I won't keep working through the beer, but you can definitely feel that heat starting to take place. Um, anybody that knows ghost pepper knows how spicy ghost peppers are, so if you're having something brew with them, it's going to leave a little bit of that fire in there for sure. The texture itself, though, Slightly watery, not as strong as you'd expect on a stout in that regard. Bitterness isn't too bad. It kind of uh, hits your tongue, but then kind of phases right out on the uh, the texture. As far as the texture, but on the aftertaste, um, it's not really a dry finish. You have a, a little bit of a wet finish there. Not much astringency. Funny thing, 11.7, not really tasting alcohol as much either, so that's nice. But the big thing is really that pepper taste. So if you like things that are very spicy. This is a beer you may want to take a look at and try in. I think it definitely hits on the note they're trying to go for. Um, I like a stout to have a little bit more of a strength in its texture though than it actually has on this one, but really everything is kind of drawn just away from the peppers. Um, if it wasn't for that, it'd be really a pretty much um, light, moderate body, light, medium body type uh, beer, but Overall, I think you still have some of that lightness in the body. It's not really as heavy, as, even though it has that high ABV. But the peppers are going to actually slow you down a little bit as you go through to enjoy this one. Now, if you let it sit on your tongue before you actually swallow, you do feel those peppers hit your taste buds a lot more. So ooh, that kind of livens it up a little. And it also does, prevent, uh, it does actually provide a nice mouth feel as well. Um, I can feel the flavors working around. I can actually feel in the back of my lips too. Some of the uh, the sensitivity from the peppers that were used in it. 
Um, it's definitely a beer that will wake you up. So, you know, if you were dead, it'll definitely bring you back to life. That's for sure. Not too bad. I'd be interested to try this one maybe with some cheese to try to cut down on it a little bit. Um, but as far as what I expected going into this beer, it pretty much delivers knowing the peppers that were being used. How does this beer actually rate out? Well, rate beer actually has this one as a 71 overall, 15 for style. Um, beer Advocate had it for 81 as far as being good. I think for the one here, you know, for me to rate this one out, I think it's actually going to be, I think it's solid. I think it does what it's supposed to do. It's a little less on, like I said, on the texture or the quality that I would like for a stout, but I would think it's more, maybe instead of a stout, more to kind of the weakness of a porter. Um, I'm going to give this one actually a B minus. I think it hits the mark on Again, the peppers on what it's striving to try to do, but I think it kind of misses the mark on actually being kind of that stout that people would expect to have that nice full body beer. But definitely worth uh, trying. Glad I got a chance to try this one out. Like I said, if you like anything spicy, you might want to give it a shot. If you don't, I would definitely recommend you not do this beer. You're not going to like it most likely. But again, this is from Rivertown Brewery and it is their death. 11.7 ABV. If you've had it before, let me know. Put some comments in the comments section. Let me know what you thought about it. This is actually the first time I saw it a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'd like to hear some other feedback if other people have seen it out there. And then um, that's really as much to say about this one. So an okay beer overall, B minus, does what it's supposed to do. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and finish drinking this beer. Appreciate you swinging by for another video. I'm going to go ahead and say cheers. Don't forget, if you like what you saw, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to speed on their videos as they're completed. Cheers. Look forward to seeing you next time.